you know, first thing you want to do with trials is come through without any injuries, and we did that. And uh, you know, it's our first chance to some real full contact, and uh, you want to get a bit of match fitness, and um, you know, obviously uh, try a couple of different things, which we did. And um, you know, we also got the opportunity there at the back end uh, to give some young blokes um, you know, a good 20, 25 minutes, and I thought they did a great job. So uh, from from those points of view, we, we certainly got everything we needed. Yeah. Competitive as well, were they? They were. Um, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a funny thing. Trials. It's you know, it's it's difficult to really get yourself going and, and ready for it. And um, you know, from a, a London point of view, uh, you know, they get to play the, the reigning champions, and, and and they they've got a little bit more to find some energy for there, I suppose, and um, you know, make the game um, a real contest. And, and to their credit, I thought they did a really good job of that. They played with really good line speed. Uh, they worked really hard in their in their defence, particularly when they had us coming off our own try line, and um, you know, from that point of view, they uh, they made it a contest. They certainly met you as well, but Big Al and, and Tom Oldie certainly put those quality stints in the road, didn't they? Yeah, definitely. And um, you know, obviously, uh, yeah, you know, they'll play a little bit more minutes, and, and we leave those sorts of guys out there, um, you know, a little bit longer when, when we're actually you know playing properly and playing for points. And, um, you know, I thought they did a good job. I, I thought I thought Big L was was probably our best in terms of go forward. He, he did some some really good things there with the ball, and um, you know I thought for the most part, apart from uh, a try, you know, which was a, a bit of a soft one off a tap, um, all of our blokes, you know, we, we didn't really look troubled defensively either. So we, we did a pretty good job there. Psychology, you must must be pleasing for somebody like Matty Lee to actually get a, get a run out and a physical run out as well. Yeah, definitely. I, I thought he got better as the game went on as well. Um, he didn't start tentative or anything like that. He looked like he was ready to go, but he just seemed to warm to the contest a little bit more as it went along. And his his second stint was probably a touch better than his first. So, as you said, he's had a long layoff, and it's a bit of an odd injury, and you know, one that would have some challenges mentally overcoming and, and having to play again. And I thought he did a good job, and yeah, he'll take some real confidence. And he'll be better for for that in the next couple of weeks too. Had a real good look at you know, the younger players in that squad. Louis Dodds certainly one for the future, and he showed some nice touches there as well, didn't he? He did, and you know the the important thing to remember there with all of those young guys who came on at the end is they all played last night as well. And uh, Lewis played, I think, fifty odd minutes last night and, and did a really good job. And you know while he was on the field, our team certainly looked better last night. And um, you know he came in and did some had some really nice touches there tonight as well. And you know, he's he's only seventeen. Um, you know he, he's what he's done is he's handled the preseason really well, and you know that's a tough challenge both physically and mentally. And he's done a really good job and. He's still got that bit of bounce in his step, like he, uh, like he's got a bit more in him, and um, he handled the physicality and handled the challenge there well today too. So, you know, he's certainly doing everything right at the moment to show that he's he's going to be a very good first grader. You start with Jane Bentley at nine. Is that an indication of what you'll do, perhaps for the start of the league season, or they're still battling out with him and Aaron? Yeah, look, we gave them you know, fifty percent of the game each, and um, you know, it's not necessarily uh, what we're going to do round one. I just want to have a bit of a look at both of those and. Yeah, what it is is a reward for for James Bentley. He's uh, been up there with our hardest workers through the preseason and and done a really good job. He he come back from his um, duties with Ireland uh, early on his own own accord as well, and uh, he's done a lot of really good things. So we obviously want to reward that um, by giving him a bit of a start today, and uh, we're going to have a look at the tape and make a few decisions there for round one. How uh, nice was it to get back out on the field um, so early in the season, I suppose, but. I imagine in pre-season, this is the part of the year that the players always look look forward to. No, it was yeah. I think I think we've had a we've had a good tough pre-season. I think we're all just ready to get out there and and just play rugby league. Really, what we're paid to do. So it was it was good. I think it was a good nice little hit hit at. So it, uh, it's definitely it's definitely got us in the right frame of mind for round one coming up. So we've got a couple more weeks to uh, tune a little couple of things uh, in in the D and in attack, and I think we will. Obviously, your main focus will have been on the game, but you know how nice was it for to see so many people here and and to play against London as well, where it all started to sort of celebrate your career so far. It was fantastic. It was. It was. I couldn't really see him due to the fog. But it was right. But, uh, <laughs> it could have been like four people there, but I can see. No man, Jay. But no, it's fantastic. A load, a load come up from London. I got family and friends up here. I got about hundred odd. So. It's fantastic for me. It's just, it's amazing how many people come out just to su- support the game and obviously see the boys in the first trial match. So yeah, it, it was lovely. Does an occasion like this make you reflect at all on what you've achieved in your career? Cause it's, it's, a, it's a hell of an achievement to spend ten years at one club, let alone St Yeah, I know. Yeah, I look back now and I go, yeah, if I didn't, if I didn't uh, 
choose the right path. We could have been so, totally somewhere different. So yeah, but it was it's, it is. I do I do every now and then. It's just just fate really. Like, I think I ended up here and I do it. But I put in hard work and, and I have stayed around. I think like a bad smell, but it's always good. And obviously you're not you're not done yet um, by any stretch. You, Am I? Am I done? No. This <laughs> <laughs> is last game. Assuming not, you're keen as ever to try and make sure that you you can capitalise on the success that the team had last year and maybe go further. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think we have. I think we've, we've uh, laid some good foundations uh, in this pre season. So I think obviously we want every team wants to win silverware, but I think we've got a good opportunity to go one step further in in the cup competition. And obviously we've got a couple of games in. We've got the World Cup challenge and all that, but. It's round one that we're focusing on, and I think that's where we just want to get off to a good start in the league. On a personal note, do you take pride being one of the few Londoners in the Super League, or would you like to kind of be joined by a few more um, kind of genuine uh, born and bred Londoners in, in the Super League? I've got a couple. We've got greater Londoners uh, everywhere, aren't there? There's like <laughs> Clubby at Wigan, and there's Sarge yeah. who's just a little bit out, but that's no, nice. There's, there's a couple of Londoners in the, in the London squad there, but it's, it's lovely, I think. Obviously, it would be nice to have loads of them, and I could understand most of them. Uh, but nice, no, it's, it's, it's all right being me at the moment. <laughs> do you reckon our game could do more to kind of um, engage? Because I mean, you, if, I guess it's harder, to, you know, maybe reflecting on your own experience, harder to come come through to the top level from London as opposed to being in a rugby league town like you. Could our game do more to kind of engage? Engage Londoners. I think in London, obviously, you have got rugby union, which is a massive, massive one. So when you got you got you competing against that, I think I think what London are doing at the moment is is, is fantastic. I think uh, what breeds what breeds success is winning. So if the, now they've dropped down there's a championship, I think if they get a good run and get some more people in the gates, and then people get bitten by the bug like I did. So you never know. Hopefully that'll happen, and they'll be they'll be there about and back in the Super League. Was that kind of the key for you, seeing the? I guess it was they were called the Broncos back way back in the day when you got bitten by the bug. Was that kind of the key, seeing an elite team in the capital? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think they had, they had fantastic players from obviously in Australia. They had like Dennis Moran and Steel Rich, just all playing for them. And I think that's when I first saw them when I got bitten. So it was like it, it, they were they were there or thereabouts. So it's, it, I did get bitten by success. So that's what breeds it, I think. And if people see you are winning games and you're, you're winning quite comfortably, then people are going to come and watch you and and want to want to join in. Mm. And Christian, you've obviously only worked with Louis for a short amount of time, but what does he um, kind of bring to the dressing shed? Yeah, look, um, I was listening to the question before. You you end up at a club like St Helens because you're a good player, obviously, but you only stay here for two hundred and seventy four games in ten years if you're. Um, not only a really good player, but a really good person around the place as well, and that's exactly what Louis is. And in my short time here, I've said a number of times he's got a terrific ability to uh, still enjoy his footy, uh, even though he's been in the game for such a long time. And that doesn't interfere with his ability to work hard and, and ability to lead the youngsters as well. So uh, I think he's extremely valuable at the club and uh, a really good person to have at the club. And um, again, that's why he's been here for so long.